Hey Leute und herzlich willkommen auf meinem YouTube-Kanal. Ich freue mich, dass ihr wieder mit dabei seid und heute mal mit einem ganz besonderen Gast, der gerade hier in Berlin ist, Daniel Chong von Dubai. Und äh, da wir das Ganze jetzt hier auf Englisch weitermachen, nicht wundern. Daniel, nice to have you here in Berlin. Well, How? my pleasure. Great How? to be here. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. I had a great evening today. Good yeah. dinner, so. <laughs> yeah, we had dinner together. Um, you are the first time in Berlin, actually. Yes, it's not my first time in Germany, but first time in Berlin for sure. Yeah. And uh, it's been really a great uh, journey here, and especially thanks to you because you you've taken me and Danny to you know the right places. So we have to think about where we want to go, etc. So it's yeah. been really great. It was a pleasure for me. So yeah. how was your experience here in Berlin? I mean, yes. Uh, okay, the weather, unfortunately, the first day was a bit challenging because uh, there was very, it was gray and uh, it was raining in the morning. So we kind of missed the, the morning shot. Yeah. And then the, the blue hour was also <laughs> not very blue. Um, so we, even though we were in a nice location on a, on a, on a, on a high floor, and, uh, but luckily the next day we, we went a bit, a bit far from Berlin and uh, I got some beautiful shots that I already posted on Facebook. And uh, yesterday evening was perfect for the cityscape and fantastic location. Yeah. And uh, so, no, no, oh, you know, for me, I don't expect to get more than one shot per day. So if I can get two like yesterday, it's already... Uh, very very good yeah yesterday we visited uh, the house of weekend so if you are based in berlin maybe you know it it's near the alexanderplatz and in the morning we were at uh, the rakotsbrücke in it's in kromlau kromlau uh, near uh, cottbus mm -hmm. so it was really nice because we have a lot of uh, gr great light and yeah a great sunrise yeah, and a change yeah. to, to shoot landscape you know and cityscape yeah let's talk about photography um you are specialized in, in cityscape and also in, in landscape. Yeah, I mean, cityscape, it's a bit due to the fact that when I really got into photography seriously, I was living in Singapore, so, you know, it's, it's a great place for cityscapes. And after Singapore, I moved to Dubai, so again, uh, not so many chance to, to shoot uh, landscape. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like in Dubai, you know, the, the, the only landscape that you have is mostly like the desert scape. So uh, next next week we are I mean tomorrow sorry we we are leaving to Iceland so that will be my real first pure hardcore landscape <laughs> photography trip. But you uh, were also in, in Lebanon a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, yes. And there you had also a lot of landscape, yes, but yes. also people and and yeah. Uh, so you, again, you we mix were, everything. Uh, yeah, I mean obviously uh, cityscape and landscape are my are really my comfort zone. Yeah. Even though um, if you look. A bit in my portfolio, you will find uh, also uh, street shots, which I did once in Nepal. Uh, some street shot I did in Dubai and modeling I did in Mauritius. So uh, I try to, to be a bit more various. Yes. So how did uh, or when did you actually start in photography? I mean, uh, photography, uh, I, uh, I started when I was a kid, actually. Danny is making some... <laughs> really nasty. <laughs> so yeah, to come back. So um, I, I really started very early, you know, uh, uh, when I was 10 years old. I'm, I'm 54 now, so it tells you how, how far <laughs> I've been for doing photography. But I really uh, be became really uh, passionate about it uh, when I bought my first DSLR like in 2006. And uh, this, this is the time where I discovered like the, uh, the photo sharing website. At that time, Flickr was was a very very big platform. Yes. And I guess uh, I owe everything to Flickr. I mean, if, um, today I'm I'm here like as a as a full time photographer, giving workshops, giving lectures. Uh, I owe it to Flickr definitely. You you produced uh, together with Flickr also a little movie about you. Yeah, I, I mean, saw. yeah, yeah, Flickr. Uh, contacted me to be featured on their blog yeah. and they, they like my uh, fog shots of Dubai or let's say a kind of a rooftoping. This is what you get uh, famous with, the, yes. the fog shots of Dubai. Yes, and also the fact that um, uh, I did, I had, luckily for me, I had access to lots of rooftops in Dubai and I mean most of my shots are shot from the rooftops. Yeah. I've been doing over 45 roofs, uh, different rooftops in Dubai and, and there's still more to, to discover. 
So it's a it's always a challenge to to get uh, a new vantage point and yeah. try to to get up there because yeah. it's yeah. it's hard and uh, it's hard, difficult yeah. to yeah. to so, get you access. Know, um, you you need to have contacts and even sometimes not necessarily rooftops but a high balcony that uh, a friend who lives in uh, in this uh, building. So yeah, uh, yeah that's I'm I'm trying all all, all possible uh, uh, all possible ways. So. Do you have a favorite vantage point in Dubai? Is there any tower uh, well, you like most? <clears throat> well, I, I would say um, the one which uh, of the Fox shots which got me featured like on the CNN website and many media in Europe. So this place would be called the uh, the Index Tower. Yeah. And yeah, this is actually I, I believe one of the best vantage points to to capture uh, Burj Khalifa and the surroundings. And uh, it's it's high enough. So that when the fox come into Dubai, you always show that you'll be above the fog because it's it's very important to find a place also which uh, with a high a high floor like over over 50 floor it's, yeah. it would be necessary to get the fog. When we talk about high, how how uh, how many meters we have to imagine would you be up there in Dubai? Uh, so, so like, uh, like 70 floor, let's say would be like 200 meters. Yeah. Know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Did you ever have? Did you ever have been scared about in the height? Is it? Uh, yes, because sometimes on some rooftop you th there is no uh, really like a fence, so maybe you have like okay. a, maybe a fifty centimeters kind of a wall, so uh, and you have to stand near that. So yeah, you must not be scared of uh, heights, uh, but you 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 get used to it. So uh, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, do you also photograph other things than uh, landscape and cityscapes? Yeah, so I, I've tried, you know, uh, maybe the only thing I've not really, I mean, I, I've tried uh, street photography, uh, modeling, some portraits, of course, uh, interior architecture, um, but like macro, I never tried macro photography, uh, and wildlife also, I'm, I'm not much yeah. into wildlife, but also because I, I don't have the proper lens to, to shoot that. Uh, but yeah, uh, but I, I try, you know, to, to, to try different different type of, photo of photography. You are also very uh, successful on social media. We already mm. spoke about Flickr. Yeah. Um, Flickr was your first platform. Yeah. You uh, you uh, get well known. Um, do you have any tips for beginners or for photographers who don't have that much follower to gain more followers? Yeah, I mean real yeah. followers, not yeah, that, yeah. That. I, I, one thing I would say: don't don't try to buy likes. Yeah. This is very bad. I mean, you will get fake followers, and then you you can see sometime a page like a hundred thousand likes, and when you post the, the guy posts a shot, you only get like twenty likes. So this is obviously a, a page with fake likes. No, the, I think. What you need to uh, to do is um, engage with your follow, you know, with your followers. You know, uh, like um, if they ask question, always be there to to respond. Uh, you know, photography it's about sharing, and uh, I don't, I really share everything. Uh, when I do my workshops, I really tell every all the techniques that I use. Yeah, I'm not scared like uh, some people, some photographers. They don't even. They hide their exif, you know, and I never understood that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's obvious. Like knowing the exif of a shot, you go there and you try the same settings, you will not get the same shot. So it's really ridiculous. People who are like photographers who are so paranoid to hide their exif data, and I, yeah, and so they. This is not the way to 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 gain followers in social media. Always share. Uh, you know, engage with your followers, uh, comment, comment back. So, and and then you, you know, you get little by little. So, so you are now more like a trainer, also. Yes. So uh, you you giving workshops. Actually, yeah. I, even before I, when I was not full time photographer, I was uh, on my free time uh, giving workshops in Dubai. Uh, and uh, now that it's my full time work, I really pushing this activity. Nice uh, to to the max because it's it's also a, a great opportunity to to travel and to to increase your portfolio and at the same time to 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 teach people and uh, you know to uh, uh, you know, make them happy you know and may, you know help them in their photography giving tips so uh, yeah that is what I like to do. You are now traveling to Iceland tomorrow. Um, yeah. 
and you will give there two workshops actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, how can I imagine how will a workshop uh, works when, when somebody attends to your workshop? Uh, so of course we'll, um, th there will be like briefings, I mean, even before the workshop start to tell them, you know, the, I mean, me and Danny will, will uh, give a briefing on um, how to do a, you know, a good uh, landscape photography. Yeah. Uh, we'll also share different technique. Danny has his own technique where he's more like a, try to do single exposure with, uh, uh, with using filters. Yes. Uh, as I'm more a, a multiple exposure and not necessarily using filters. So I think both techniques are complementary because you will have photographers that also or more into single exposure and others who wants to try more, you know, uh, things with multiple exposures. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll give guidance all the time. Yeah. But also we, we, we like people to also start, uh, you know, doing things on their own, not necessarily need to be coached every, yeah. every single moment. And the, the idea is like when, um, when we come back to, to the hotel, if nobody is too tired, we want to like to review maybe one shot per day for each participant nice. and then give them, you know, uh, comments and, uh, uh, you know, constructive criticism. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's Pretty the idea nice. that we want. Cool. To mm. And if just not being a tour guide and, you know, and said, okay, we, we take yeah. you to a place and then uh, t yeah. shoot whatever you want. No, no, we, we want to engage with them also on a personal level and, uh, you know, help them to improve their photography. Sounds nice. So if you ever want to, to attend to one workshop with Daniel Chong and Danny Eid, you can uh, do it now. Yeah. And so. also if you come to Dubai, we have those. We just launched recently a very successful workshop where we took you to a roof, to one of the best rooftops in Dubai Marina. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, uh, we'll teach you uh, the digital blending technique, which I use uh, to really give the, this kind of look that you get on my photos. If you would meet a, a beginner photographer, what could you uh, give him for an advice, if you only yeah. have one well, advice? First, don't think that it's all about the camera. <laughs> yes. And also, I think you need to shoot what you like. And don't shoot what you think people like. Oh, yeah. maybe uh, this genre is popular, so you have to shoot that. I mean, it's not my approach, you know. Uh, I like cityscapes and I will keep shooting cityscape even if sometimes I get comments so why are you still shooting cityscape you know as long I shoot for me first and then when I share it if people are happy looking at that and then I'm, I'm happy but I shoot for the things that I like first yeah and yeah, cool. so try to be inspired by other photographers but also try to to think out of the box and and uh, get your your own style you know I think it's very important to to try to get your own style. So maybe it's very difficult now to, you know, there are so many good photographers and you know, cityscape or landscape. So to, to, you end up trying to copy another one, but yeah. uh, in a way, try to find your own style. So what are your plans for the future? So in a business side or also? Yeah, and the business side is, uh, okay, my, my, what I would really like, because you, you still have some countries with great landscape, for instance, uh, China. Yeah, which is very difficult to be accessible by non-Chinese people because of the language barrier. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I want to partner with someone who, who speaks Chinese and then organize a, land, a landscape workshop there for non-Chinese people who would come to China. And, and, then, and I've been there many times and they're also absolutely amazing landscape uh, close to the, uh, let's say, avatar type of landscape yeah. with the fog and those, those mountains. And you have, you have a place in China called Sichuan where you, you can spend months just shooting landscape there. So I want to, 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 to go there and, and bring people from uh, Europe or United States or, you know, other parts of Asia to, to discover those places in China. So that's cool. my, let's say, the plan for, let's say, the, in the next year. I'm definitely in. Yes, and of course, you know, uh, since I'm based in Dubai, you uh, continue to try to find more uh, locations uh, like rooftops uh, because, uh, you know, the, the challenge is to find uh, um, a, a tower that will allow us to, to do the workshop on their, on their roof yeah. and, uh, and also which is big enough so we can accommodate at least, you know, 12, 12 to 15 people. 
Yeah. So, but uh, that's what we are, we are working on. Cool. Let's end with some uh, quick fire questions. So, mm. just uh, answer with one or two words. Mm. What is your favorite camera? So, your, um, maybe your favorite camera brand? Nikon, D10, and uh, tilt shift lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the next question. Favorite lens. Okay. Cityscape or landscape? What is better? Uh, I, I, I still prefer cityscapes. Okay. Your favorite country? Uh, for cityscape, Hong Kong, definitely. And for landscapes? Uh, I, I think it will be Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, holidays? Uh, spend holidays with the camera or without the camera? Uh, of course, with the camera. I don't think I can I go without a camera. No okay. way. Yeah. Blue hour in the morning or in the evening? Two things, yeah, I'm not a morning person, so it would be most the time blue hour in the evening, but also a blue hour in the evening, you get lights from the buildings. Yeah. Either than the morning people are sleeping, so there's not so much light there. But I have to say, if you say you are not the morning person, you have to wake up uh, Danny every morning, so yeah. <laughs> you are more, more the morning person than Danny. <laughs> no, actually, well, yeah, when it comes to photography, yeah, I, can, I, will, I will wake up yeah. any time. But when it was wake up for my previous job, no, it was very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Stefan. Time. And really, I'm, I want really to thank you again for being our host for the, the, those like, three days and you know taking us everywhere. And uh, you, you're yeah, you're a really great guy and very kind. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed the time. And if you want to see more of Daniel's uh, work, see we can uh, explore his. Uh, other uh, social media platforms. I will post every link in the description and I hope to see you soon guys and have fun. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.